In the part one of solving the shortest night path problem, we discussed about the algorithm and the approach to solve this problem. In this video, I'm going to talk about the code and also write a programming C++ to demonstrate the algorithm that we just discussed. Now, if you haven't taken a look at the problem that we discussed and the algorithm that we discussed in part one, uh, the link is up here and here or here anywhere. And uh, yeah, without wasting any further time, let's continue. All right, let's get going. So let's first define our input variable source x source y destination x and destination y so these are going to be our x and y coordinates for source and destination now let's just take them uh, input source x source y destination x destination y source and destination taken input now in the algorithm we discussed that we are going to have a list like structure in which we push at one end and take out from other end in other words that's a data structure called q I mean, that's the functionality of a queue. So I'm gonna, now, um, how do we store this data? We're gonna store this data in the form of pair of int comma int comma int and then pair of this. I'll explain to you in a moment, just. So this structure, uh, queue of pair of pair of int int comma int is nothing complex, it's very simple. Um, in what we are staring as int, so basically we have a pair which is made of a pair and a single integer. Now this pair is the x comma y coordinate and the integer that we are storing in that pair is the distance from the source that we have traveled till now for the given point which is stored in this pair, right? So we're going to call it as q, okay? And as discussed, we also have to take care about a visited uh, visited uh, array or something that could keep a map or set or something that can keep track of what are all the points or coordinates we have visited on the chessboard already so i'm going to call it a set of pair of int comma int visited this is also covered now i'm going to say while not or rather let's first jump it to so what's the logic we have we start from our source okay so the source uh, i mean so uh, I'm going to put my um, source node, which is x comma y. So q dot push make pair of uh, make pair of source x comma source y comma uh, zero, right? Uh, we are pushing in the q. I mean, to start with, we are pushing the source node. And then uh, also pushing the distance from source to source zero, obviously. That's what you push. And then uh, now, while we have not covered all the possible cases, which is, I'll elaborate in a second, we are pushing all the cases in a queue. So while the queue is not empty or we have not enumerated all the cases, we run our algorithm. So while not queue dot empty, I'm gonna take the for, uh, the current node on which we are. Uh, so it's going to be pair of int comma int comma int and this pair of this whole entity. Pair of int comma int comma okay. All right, and this will be the square that we get from our queues. Now uh, that will be q dot front so we've taken the first element from the list uh, from the queue and then we remove this from the queue by calling queue dot pop this is done now and then we basically have this is wrong right we don't need a one another square angular bracket right uh, for this i think we need but for this we don't need because it's already covered yeah so now we have this node now so uh, coming back to the example that we had so if you see from 4 comma 3 we can travel to 1 to 8 different directions and all those 8 possible dimensions are mentioned here right so these are all the possible 8 dimensions so x plus 1 y plus 2 x plus 2 y plus 1 x plus 2 y minus 1 x plus 1 y minus 2 x minus 1 y minus 2 and so on right so what we're going to do is we're going to and Remember, I told you it's not always valid that a knight can move in all the eight directions. For example, if the knight is stuck here on the corner, he cannot move to eight direction. He can only go here, I mean here, or he can come to here. That's all. 
He has only two choices. So we also need to verify, find a way in which you can validate what are all the uh, valid cases to move from a given score. So you may make a function valid and I'm going to pass it the X coordinates, right? And it's going to return me if the coordinate is valid or not. It's a simple check, right? So if X is greater than or equal to zero, I'm just checking the bounds. Y is greater than or equal to zero and X is less than or equal to seven y is less than or equal to 7 then return true otherwise return false can be shortened also you can just return this condition but i'm just writing it in easier way for people to understand then we have q dot pop and then we check if this node uh, let's say if visited of square dot first equal to equal to visited dot end which means i'm checking if i've already visited this square if we have not visited this square then we'll move here right and then now in, from this we'll mark it as visited so visited of square dot first is equal to oh sorry visited dot insert Right, and then here we have visited dot find right and then uh, now um, uh, okay so we just so square dot first represent this pair right so we're checking if we have already visited this pair of coordinates or not x comma y if we haven't visited then we mark them as visited and then we put all the eight directions in the queue so we're going to do queue so if valid let's write it as possible now new chords equal to square dot first new chords x and i'm gonna call it as square dot first dot first and square dot first dot second new chords y right so if valid new if valid new chords x plus one comma new chords y plus two then we push this into the queue right so we push this into the we'll have to make pair of this so make pair of this and this just break it into different lines so that's easier to take a look also i'll make it full screen so that uh, we can take a look at it easy easily and i'll make this a little short then q dot push make pair this comma uh, and make pair because it's a pair of pair so make underscore pair for this entire and, and here we pass the distance which was actually square dot second plus one all right just under understand till here because it's just the repetition below so what we have done is uh, we have a queue which is acting as you know uh, we are pushing something from the one end and taking out from in the other end in the same order in which we are inserting then we are running our algorithm we insert the source node we also have a set to mark if a, a coordinate is already visited or not then we start from we put the source node into the queue then we run our loop while we the queue is not empty take the first element from the queue remove it from the queue we check if it's not visited then we mark it as visited and then we find out all the possible paths we can take from that location so we're gonna put them into the queue so i'm just gonna copy this eight times we have this eight times now i'm just gonna 
put these values now x plus 1 y plus 2 so i'm going to say x plus 2 y plus 1 now x plus 2 y plus 1 x plus 2 y plus 1 then we're going to do we have x plus 2 y minus 1 x plus 2 y minus 1 x plus 2 y minus 1 and then we have one x plus one y minus two x plus one y minus two it's just gonna become minus okay now then we have uh x minus one y minus two so this will become x minus one y minus two x minus one y minus two then we have x minus 2 y minus 1 so we'll have x minus 2 y minus y minus 1 uh, x minus 2 oops y minus 1 then x minus 2 y plus 1 x minus 2 y plus 1 x minus 2 y plus 1 then we have x minus 1 y plus 2 the last y plus 2 x minus 1 y plus 2 right so with this done we have basically checked if a, uh, the new coordinate in which we have to go is valid then we just push it into q and also one last thing to check is as soon as we take out the element from the list we have to check if the coordinates so if square dot first dots or rather rename this right so uh current x so int current current x on where we are right now is square dot first dot first and similarly the current y coordinate that we have is square dot first dot second right so if current y equal to dest y and current x equals dest x then we say c out square dot second distance and return zero i'm going to put a new line as well so and l and that's what that's all we have so let's just give it a run so i'm going to open terminal new chords x was not declared in okay so we did not give the data types int int all right so let's give 4 comma 5 1 comma 6 and it gives us two moves so let's just evaluate our uh, solution so i'm going to do one thing i'm going to assume that our king is here our knight is here and let's see so we can go from here to here we can even go here um okay we can even go here so let's see uh, from here we can go to this place all right so let's see what's the minimum number of steps required to reach this which will be zero one two three zero comma three so from zero one two three and four three comma four to zero comma three 3 comma 4 to 0 comma 3 right so we'll say 3 comma 4 to 0 comma 3 two steps right so one here and one here so i think the algorithm is correct well that was the code for the problem of shortest night path problem a very simple code not a very difficult programming lo logic because if you just break down the algorithm and try to understand what's the basic thing going on it's nothing different and a lot of different questions are based on this simple approach this approach is also called breadth first search or breadth first traversal because we are all go exploring all the branches right rather than uh, a deep traversal would be to start from one branch and then just dive into all the possibilities of that that branch so with it, that's why this is called breadth first uh, traversal so I hope you guys understood and if you guys enjoyed watching this video, give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because I'm going to come up with such great and cool content every time. And well, until next time, take care. Bye-bye.